Breast cancer affects approximately one in eight women here in the U.S. And Dr. Berman has shared how the fear of it has affected her own life over the past two seasons on this show. She recently had another scare and we were there every step of the way. Have a look at her journey and what has been up until now. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was in her 50s, but she pulled through that. It came back on the other side, and then suddenly the disease got the best of her. Who is that? She, she died. And then next thing within probably a year, I found out that my sister has breast cancer also. In light of Dr. Berman's family history, she saw breast surgeon Dr. Christy Funk for a much needed medical breast. Jen's future breast cancer risk is probably somewhere in the ballpark of a 30% lifetime chance. So I was just going over everything. The mammo was unchanged, but in doing the ultrasound, he found this solid mass. Now we're doing a biopsy. I wish I didn't have to do this. On the count of three, you're going to hear that click. One, two, three. Fingers crossed that it's benign. Christy, you have Dr. Jen's biopsy results. All right, so the biopsy shows that that mass is absolutely benign. Dr. Berman, having increased risk, should undergo imaging every six months. So I'm here today to get my mammogram and ultrasound. Hi, it's so good to see you. Her mammogram was fine. However, there's a new finding on the left. It's a little odd looking, so I'm gonna take a closer look. So this is what we're looking at. This line across the top is your skin, and right underneath your scar line is this dilated area. This darker bit is fluid. I want her to get an MRI just to be sure. Yeah. I'm nervous, I'm scared. I am a little claustrophobic, but fingers crossed. Okay, Dr. Berman, that's it. You're all done, you did great. Woo. Joining us now is breast cancer specialist, Dr. Christy Funk, and everyone in this audience even- and I don't know what the results are through. either. I really don't. Sometimes, you know, you think, okay, well, they told me what they were. I have no idea, just so you know what the results are. And I think are. now, now is the time. You have the most beautiful, benign, boring <laughs> breast. Oh, wow. That's got I will really say, good. though, <clears throat> Dr. Berman, that in reading the MRI, but the breast <laughs> tissue at the very top is kind of speckled in appearance, right? The yeah. white part is very enhancing. And that, Dr. Berman, is because of the hormone replacement therapy that you're vocal about using. And that has an effect on the breast tissue that limits our ability to see well on the MRI. However, the radiologist did say everything looked completely fine but there is this background enhancement that if someone needs an MRI, we like her to stop hormones for three weeks to eliminate the background, and then we get an even better look. Dr. Berman ended up getting an MRI. What are the conditions that the average woman with the average risk factors would end up getting a breast MRI? What would lead to that? An average risk woman probably will not be getting a breast MRI. You have to be at elevated risk. We calculate it using sophisticated computer models based on your family history, your personal history of biopsies, interesting things like when you started getting periods, when you went through menopause, how many children you have, what age you were when they were born. We can factor all these things in and calculate your lifetime risk of breast cancer. And is Dr. Berman not a classic example of something we've discussed with you on the show many times before? It, it's about the individual, and every individual has to have their own unique game plan, certainly with Dr. Berman's family history, with her unique breasts. Mm -hmm. you've, you've got a very specific plan in place for her, but it sounds like, as of now, the good news is everything looks great. You have a six-month year. <laughs> well, Dr. Berman, I know, I know how tough all of this oh, is man. for you. Thank you for sharing your experiences, Dr. Funk. Not only thank you for appearing on the show, but taking such good care of yes. our Dr. Berman. We'll be right back.